Hi, I'm James Davey. In this short video, we're going to be looking at the importance of unified vowels for making a good choir sound. Now, I believe that each vowel has its own specific placement because when we change from one vowel to another, we find the resonance moves. You'll find that some of the vowels resonate stronger here than others, even though we're singing at the same pitch. Let's try it. And off we go. Good. Can you identify which ones were the strongest? E and U, interestingly. How do we make the other vowels strong enough to compete when we're singing? Um, well, we have to think about where the resonance is going to be best. And I think the resonance moves through a shape in the head that can be easily followed. So E definitely resonates through the top of the head. So let's capitalize on that. So for E, we're going to think the sound upwards. So could you take your hand on top of your head? I'd like you to tease the sound upwards. Very good. Um, air is a funny one. So we couldn't feel it on the top of our, top of our heads. But I think air sits somewhere around here, around the ears, and is probably sent off sideways. So we're going to imagine air is spinning off to the side. So could you do a little spinning motion like this? Very good. And it's going to spin out. So. Very good. Now R was also very soft, even though when our mouths are open, it should be one of the loudest sounds that we make. Now, I think that's because it resonates at the back of the neck. And when, it uh, when, you, when you focus your resonation of the R vowel at the back of the neck, if your neck is tensed, you're not going to make such a strong sound. And it doesn't have the resonance of the rest of the body, which you can get if you really relax the neck. Put two hands behind your neck. I'd like you to imagine you're letting the sound out behind you as though you're opening barn doors. Our next one, oh, this is the most unusual vowel because it only works on a very narrow plane between the vowel or and the vowel ah. And we know we've got it right because it hits uh, a particular kind of sound when we sing it. Um, if I was to sing an or and turn it towards an ah, at some point in the middle you'll hear a little sparkle of sound, a little moment of magic, and that is the O oh vowel, as in the word orange or hot. <clears throat> We're going to sing R and move towards OR. I'd like you to all try it and see if you can find that spot in the middle. Off you go. Uh... Well done. So you probably all maybe noticed it. I certainly heard it from here. So we're going to find our best. Oh, can you sing me? Go. Okay. Well done.